Good morning, guys. I think probably all you're going to see right now is a little glowing dot, which is my headlamp. It's 3.45 a.m. on Baker Lake. Right now I've got about two and a half mile run, two mile run up to the Noisy Creek area launching from Panorama Point. There you can see the fleet concentrated over by Noisy Creek. Really beautiful crescent moon. Look at that, that's cool looking. Can you see a couple of fish here at 50? That's where I have my downrigger set right now. Oop, there was a bite. I just had a bite on the turn there. Didn't get him though. That was on the hoochie. Pressure on. Swimming towards me. Very swirly. Oh, he's all tangled in my other line, of course. Get him out of the downrigger line, if I can. Yes, I know, you're tangled in my other line. What a mess, but I got him. My first Baker Lake sock. Sweet. He got me all wrapped up in my other line so bad. Is a mess. That's the ones you always land when you do it perfect, you lose them, right? All right, that is my first Baker Lake sockeye. Nice and chrome. Weird thing is, water temperatures here are warmer than where I fish in the Columbia at home. That's pretty cool. That was on the big sling blade with a pink hoochie. That was at 45 feet. So, this fishery is definitely not nearly as combative as Brewster Pool, that's for sure. It is very, very beautiful up here. I mean, I just can't get over that view. That's pretty awesome. Definitely feel like I am um, out of my element though. Just not really understanding the fisheries super well, but at least I have a fish in the boat. Doesn't seem like it's a super hot bite, except for there's like a few boats that seem in particular that seem to be really I heard on them. Most people are just scratching out one or two here and there. Not a good sign. Yeah, it's uh, slow. So supposedly yesterday they put 2,000 fish in the lake. All the fish in this lake are trucked in here, which is just crazy. There's no fish past it, so they can't get here naturally. They're put on a truck and then unloaded, so you know exactly how many fish have been put in the lake. And I'm marking good numbers, but they're just not as bitey. It's really interesting. Um, you know, in the Brewster Pool at home where I fish, there's you'll see huge numbers of sockeye. And as the numbers build, the bite gets better and better. But it seems that here, like once you to get a wave of fresh fish in, those fish will bite. But then the fish that have been here for a little bit aren't as, aren't as bitey. Um, I wonder if that has to do with the distance that these fish have to travel. The, the fish in the Brewster Pool have traveled, you know, several hundred miles up the Columbia and they still have until September until they spawn. They probably are opportunistically looking for a meal. So that's, I guess, maybe why they might eat more. Uh, whereas here, these fish just had a short distance. They came out of the ocean. They're still relatively fresh. They have a lot of fat reserves. That's going to do it for me today. Only one fish, but hey. Can't live it out every time. All right, I'm back out here, guys, in the dark. Looking for some redemption today. I only got one sockeye yesterday on Baker. Oh, 
My first one of the day, I think. Oh, there he is. Oh, he just popped off right there. First bite. Didn't feel very big. I did a turn there and had a bite. See that? It's following it. I got one chewing on this one. Every time I turn, he taps it. Oh. Any luck yet, bud? He's off. That's my third one I've lost. Well, he might be there, just swimming up. There he goes. They're squirrely. Yeah. Sorry, guys. That is the prettiest sock I've ever caught. I think it's chrome. It's so chrome. All right, here we go. Look how pretty that is. That is a very pretty fish. Sweet. So I'm hoping I can get one more and I'll be super happy because that means I'll have done better than I did yesterday. I think improvement versus oneself is the best way to go about this stuff other than competing against everybody around you. I've had way more bites today and I think it's just because I'm being a little more conscientious about my speeds. Just staying slow. That seems to be what they want. I'm just going to stop because... <laughs> I know what's going to happen if I keep going. Oh, I got to take a picture of you because nobody's going to believe me. <laughs> You're a peace sign. This is, this is what it's like to be an arrow. Thanks, man. Yeah. 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 Oh. I wasn't even moving. A bluegill can drag this boat. Wow, that's a big fish. Let it slack it off, we'll let it. <laughs> oh. Come on. Jesus. I can't see him. He's just going too squir squirrely. Oh. In and out. That's embarrassing. <laughs> that was fun. I was going nowhere. I just basically stopped, let boats go by. And uh, he hit that thing. <sighs> Sweet. That was a nice fish. That's on some purple coon shrimp. Another one on the jumper. Stay with me.
It's coming straight up. Stay with me. Stay with me. Come on. Come on. Stay with me. Alright, let's do this. Woohoo! That's number three. This guy has somebody else's hooks in his mouth. You run three green beads. He didn't learn his lesson the first time, I guess. I'll take stupid fish. They taste the same as smart ones. There we go. Another beauty. So here it is that somebody had something with like two or three green, and just basically three green beads, two space hooks. They got a big setback on that hook. It's so weird. An interesting setup. A lot heavier leader than I'm running. They got like 40 pound leader on there. That's some the purple coon shrimp's been doing pretty good. Hey, calm down back there. So unlike the Brewster pool, boats spread out here, but we still got you know solid 150, 200 boats on the north end of the lake. Troll lanes are less apparent away from the shoreline but some great scenery so i ended up in total with uh, three fish with a couple missed bites which i felt like was a really big improvement on the day before i sort of keyed in on several things that uh, i was doing wrong and that is i was uh, trolling just a bit too fast it seems like these fish like in the 0.6 to 0.9 mile per hour range I tightened up my leaders a little bit um, just because at that slower troll speeds, the dodger action is a little bit different. And I stuck to areas where I was seeing more nets flying. It seemed like there was marking a lot of fish, but there's only certain areas where there was maybe fresh fish that were biting. And that seemed to really help, help me out for the day. And uh, I had a really great time at this fishery and uh, it's just a really beautiful setting. And it was really exciting to see how it compares to the Brewster pool. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. I'll put links to everything I use below. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section. And I'll see you on the water. Just remember, fish smarter, not harder.